Hello, welcome to another Star Wars The Old Republic video. Um, if, if you don't know who I am, my name is Jake, and I usually do Star Wars videos, WoW videos, stuff like that. I'm going to go ahead and turn my volume off. Um, this video is going to be about um, making credits on uh, Star Wars. So, um, my way of making credits, as you can see, I have a, I'm kind of rich, I don't know, I don't know how much rich that is, but that's, uh, that's enough to get by, 60 million, and I'm also selling, um, all this stuff, Tithe and Saber, and a bunch of this stuff, so, um, all, all this stuff I bought for low, and then I sold for or I'm trying to sell for higher on the GTN. Um, so to make credits, you need to be on the GTN for hours a day. Um, that's that's how I did. I started from like a million and I got to like sixty million. So for example, a few hours ago, I saw a Titan lightsaber as you can see I'm selling it right now I saw it for it was all the way up to top I saw it for uh, 30 30 point nine million I quickly purchased that and resold it for 38 million because uh, the, the person that was selling it must have thought it was the Titan lightsaber pike but it was actually the Titan saber so other people make mistakes and you can use that to your advantage and for another example that um the Titan saber um I already have it and that's because um someone I accidentally sold it for 2000 credits on the GTN and I quickly bought that and that's how I have it right now um otherwise I w I would not I've ever equipped it uh, because I already have a, a better saber as you can see um, so what I would do is go to category and then go to mounts and then just check um, if there's any mounts that are cheap that are supposed to be higher than that and just quickly buy them and then sell them for higher so buy low sell high that's probably the best way to make credits on Star Wars. Um, and once you get um, into the higher items, like such as the like vented saber and stable saber, you can um, stay on the GTN for a while and see if anybody makes a mistake and accidentally sells it for lower. Um, such as what I did with the Titan Saber, you can you can buy it for about 30 million and sell it for 38 million. That's what that's what I did. Um, I'm gonna just do a quick check of these mounts, see if there's any any for cheap. I'm gonna go to the to the golds, see if there's a gold one for cheap. Um, I don't think there is. I'm not seeing any so far. If a person has made a mistake, it'll probably be at the 112,000 range. Because the default price for a mount is 112,500. Um, so yeah. And all these Arctic, um, Rancor mount thingies, I bought them for a million each, and now I can... As you can see, they are going for 2.25 million, but I'm going to wait until the price goes back up. Because that pack was recent. Um, so basically, just buy low, sell high. Uh, what I also do is I go to melee weapon and type in saber. And then I just scroll through the list and see if there's any cheap ones. I do find good deals. Um, 
I found a silver saber for 2,000 credits. Uh, there's like a bunch of them being sold. So I bought all of them for 2k each. And now they're worth like 50,000 each. So I have like 20 of them I could sell for 50,000. Alright, so I can see there's not any, any of them for cheap really. So, then I would go to Cartel Market Items and I'd search up Grand Chance Cube. The normal selling price of a Grand Chance Cube is 1 mil. They were going for 700k the other day, so if you see them for that low, just buy all of them up and then you can sell them back later for a million. Um, also, search up Pack. Uh, default price for a pack is about two million. Um, if there's any of them for cheap, then go ahead and buy them up. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah. I'd also go to armor and search up armor set. And see the cheapest armor sets, and someone could put one for very cheap. That's not supposed to be cheap. Um, yeah, that one's supposed to be cheap because I have that set. Um, so if you see like a silver armor set, in, like the hundred k range, to buy that up. I can just scroll through, see if there's any gold real quick. I don't think there's any. Um, I also check through the Revan uh, armors. Let's see if there's any uh, pieces for cheap. I'm selling that one, but it's not going to get bought. If you see any chest plates, go for one mil, buy that up. Um, I saw one for 700k a few months ago, and I bought it up real quick. Revan Reborn. If there's any pieces going for cheap. Like if you see if you see the breastplate going for 15 mil or something, then quickly buy that up and you can sell it for 20, uh, 22 mil. The, the greaves are overpriced. Holy crap! I'm actually surprised it's going for this cheap. 125 million. That's not that bad. It usually goes for 135, 175. Um, one popular item is the Texan Saber. Uh, I forgot how much they're going for usually, but I, I'm guessing 10 mil. So if you see it for like 5 mil, then buy that up and then you can sell it back. So yeah, that's basically how to get money in two, uh, 2018 on the. Uh, on the GTN. So, um, I don't have to grind at all. Uh, it's how I got my armor sets. I got the two lock horde armor set and the Revenue Reborn armor set by just doing this method and the Unstable Arbiter's lightsaber and the Volatile, volatile Weapon Tuning and also a whole bunch of other armor sets. But yeah, um, subscribe if you want more Star Wars Republic videos and I'll see you later.